Hello everyone, in this video we will be making a user model and uh, I'm gonna explain you thoroughly and from the next tutorials, next videos, we're gonna um, start making couple of models in one particular video. Uh, so guys, uh, I didn't, I, I actually forgot that, um, so I didn't, for, I forgot to commit my code. So the first commit I, is this video three. I, okay, I forgot the O also. Uh, so you guys can roll back to this commit and you can see how the code is being done or you can start from this particular point and uh, <clears throat> and start whatever how you feel like to so um, I'm gonna create a new model so in mo in models uh, directory I'm gonna create a new file called user.model.ts so first of all I'm gonna make a interface so I'm gonna do export interface user i <clears throat> so interface helps us to uh, basically define what all things are required in it and the data types of those things so i'm going to do id so id can be null so id can be number or a null why because we're going to use auto increment so auto increment takes the id itself and assigns the id to that particular column so if, if the <clears throat> if the if the table is blank so it's gonna give that first ID. If we insert a first record, it's gonna give one ID one and similarly ID two and ID three automatically. So that's why it's null. So we're gonna have first name. It will not be null. So how we define null is with the, this question mark basically. Mm -hmm. String, it's gonna be of type string and it's gonna be, and now the last name, similarly string, email, string, password <clears throat> string now i'm gonna create a class and i'm gonna do export default user sorry class user extends model so it's gonna extend a model from sequelize sequelize <clears throat> types and implements user i So automatically it gives an error that uh, implement that the user user <coughs> user i is not implemented so we're gonna just do implement user interface and i'm gonna so my all the ids are here i just have to give them decorators <coughs> so for the decorators uh we need to have a file called ts config uh, dot json so i'm gonna create that file and i'm gonna paste it over here so i'm gonna new file uh not over there over here so i'm going to ts config dot json <clears throat> this file be, will be is will be in the git repo so you can get it from there so i'm just going to copy paste it just one sec here that's it's fine now now we can use the decorators so i'm going to do use add the rate Mm, table yes and we're going to define two things over here table name which is user and date so so basically uh timestamp uh <coughs> timestamp is uh basically when the when the record was created and when the record was updated it's going to automatically take care of it and put in the timestamps over there <coughs> So for the ID thing, we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to write auto increment decorator over here. So it's going to be auto increment and primary key and it's a column. So auto increment at the rate primary key at the rate column. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put in the semicolon and uh, same thing goes for the first name it's gonna be basically allow null no we cannot allow null so it's gonna be false we're gonna do not empty it cannot be empty either and it's a column and we have to make sure we make it non-null so non-null is like we have to add exclamatory mark that it cannot be null 
Same thing goes for this thing. So I'm just going to copy it. <laughs> Here, not null. Yeah, so it's, it's working. So our user model is there. Now we're gonna go to app.ts. Let's see what's the problem. <coughs> it says express module page tracker source database. Okay, sorry. It's express npm install types express. So we're gonna do that thing since it's, it's asking npm i save def and the red type slash express <clears throat> so let's do that thing and um, yeah now it's gonna be fine i hope yeah it's fine now so our user model is created over here and to to synchronize this user model since it's a new table which we created over here so now to add this table automatically to database, we're gonna use SQLize and we're gonna sync in, sync with this uh, to the database. So we have to add one command over here, which is uh, um, app.ts. So we're gonna write, let's make it async. <laughs> and let's write over here, try catch. So we're gonna do await sequelize dot um, we can sync uh sync yes so we're gonna uh, around um, force we're gonna do true <laughs> so it's gonna force <coughs> sorry so it's gonna force to add the database and uh, sorry add the tables and everything error dot message so now let's let's run and see if it's working or if it's giving any error oh sorry <clears throat> i'm gonna do ts node source app dot ts <clears throat> so let's hope it's work it works okay i got some error over here Cannot find module sequelized types. Okay. So in user model. Um, okay. So this model is not from sequelized types. It is from here. From sequelized type scripts. <coughs> Sorry, my bad. <coughs> Let's run. I think it's going to run now. And it's going to create the required. It's going to run the required commands for the database so yes create table if not exists user with this all id and everything like that <clears throat> so it's amazing that we don't have to write any sql code and it and it's running so thank you so much guys for uh, watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial then do uh subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up it means like like my video it really motivates me to new to make new content for you guys and uh, stay tuned for more tutorials and thank you so much